And it's Ken Kratzer for Canvas Media. We're at New York City Fleet Week. We have a chance to talk to a Coast Guard officer, and that is Vice Admiral Kevin E. Lunday. Admiral, good to see you. What's it like to be at New York City Fleet Week for you this year? Well, Ken, it's great to be here. Very exciting. I mean, we're celebrating the strength of the Coast Guard, Marine Corps, and Navy team here, the strength of the fleet along with our allies. And there's no better place to be welcomed and have that celebration than right here in New York City. And you've got a Coast Guard cutter uh, visiting from Boston, just commissioned, named after a Coast Guard hero from World War II, jumped off a, uh, a ship during the middle of the Battle of the Atlantic to help sa rescue soldiers from the USS Dorchester. Quite a story. It really is. All of our fast response cutters, like the one you'll see here, the Warren D. Ampert, are named after enlisted heroes in the Coast Guard. And Messman Warren D. Ampert went into the frigid waters of the North Atlantic after the USS Dorchester was torpedoed on February 3rd, 1943. He swam in darkness as a rescue swimmer with others and helped rescue over 100 crew members from the Dorchester who were wounded and in and, and peril of, of drowning at sea. And so we recognized him for his heroism and then honored his heritage and history by naming this Coast Guard cutter after him. Final thought, we've seen a number of new Coast Guard cutters come onto the fleet that saw Finn last year commission. I know you have some icebreakers coming in, in, the, uh, in the product uh, uh, line. How is it important for the Coast Guard to receive these new, sh new cutters? It's vital, vital to the strength of our fleet. I mean, our existing fleet is performing very well, but it has a lot of age on it. Some of our cutters are 50 years old, Ken. But the new polar security cutter that's being built right now, the first heavy icebreaker the nation will have in almost 50 years, uh, along with the, uh, the offshore patrol cutter that's being built and our new waterways commerce cutter. So we're building a whole new fleet. We've been doing that and we're continuing that. It's very important for the safety and security of our nation. Vice Admiral Kevin Lundy from the U.S. Coast Guard, thank you for your service. Great to see you here at New York City Fleet Week. Thank you very much, Ken. Have a great day. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kreitzer for Cambats Media.